morning, good afternoon, good evening, ninjas, wherever you are. Hey, I'm Ben Choder, and today, we're, as you can see, we're in a brand new setting, ninjas. The goal is we're actually in a cafeteria, sitting on the bleachers, and I'm New York City behind me. No better time, no better place, but today's topic is something that I take really, really serious. You know what the topic is? It's customer service. And with me today, well, it's not just customer service, it's service in general. It's your clients. It's servicing your clients to the nth degree. And with me today, as usual, is Ivan Schlachter. <laughs> Ivan, welcome to the show. We're actually on the same side of the camera. How is this? We're actually in the same frame. I love this, Ben. This is, is it, this is amazing. And the Big Apple's behind us. Hudson Yards is right there. We're really excited to be broadcasting. Empire State. So, Ivan, I want to start off. I want Because um, you know how I feel about customer service. It's all about our clients. It doesn't matter how good your technology is. Doesn't matter how good your team is, doesn't matter how good your marketing is, if you win clients and you don't keep them and they don't keep on coming back for more, is it worth it? Absolutely not, Ben. It's what it's all about. It's, it is. It's all about keeping the client. And, you know, I have this theory. It's Ivan. The phone's ringing, right? Let's pretend. Let's, let's act together. The okay. phone's ringing. The ring, the ring, right? Two phone calls. Over here is client phone. Over here is a prospect phone. You've been prospecting your butt off, trying to win new clients. Absolutely. And over here, Oh, it's that old uh, client, you client. know, that pain in the neck client yeah. constantly calling. Is both phones ring. Uh, Which phone do you answer? I got to go and pick up the existing client, Ben. Why? Because that's where most of our revenue actually comes from. And it's guaranteed revenue if we do a good job. Well, and it's also about you spend all your time and your effort, every one of you ninjas, trying to win that client. And we truly think once we win it, we don't have to give them love. We don't have to nurture them. Wrong. The goal is you want to have clients for the rest of your career. You want to keep these clients forever. You want to make sure you grow with your clients. And the only way to do that is constantly be servicing them. And everyone forgets that. Everyone goes, oh, I'm going to answer the prospect because they're already a client. More revenue, double the revenue. Right. Totally false. That's, that's not true. Do you have any keys, Ivan, to um, keeping clients happy? What do you think? What does service mean to you? Service means everything to me, Ben. So when a client comes to me and asks for something sort of ridiculous, outside the box, outside of what we usually do every day, but they, they want it done by this deadline, service means get it done. Don't blow the deadline. Make sure you hit the deadline. Make sure you are in constant contact with them, keeping them updated on where it's at, what's going on with it. Make them feel loved. Make them feel very loved. But at the same Not time... Not just love, very loved. Very loved. But at the same time, make sure you, you find time to go out there and find some prospects. Well, yeah. Well, you know what? you got to always be selling, right? Always be closing, like the saying always says. Always be but closing. But bottom line is, what this today is about, because one of the things that I see as I go through the entire organization, and I look at a lot of organizations, and a lot of partners that my company works with, and we work with, is that people forget the bottom line. It's about service. You guys all think, I'm going to win the business. I'm going to spend all this money marketing. I'm going to do this. Just talk to your clients. And here's the bottom line. There's this thing called a phone. Don't just email people. Pick up the freaking phone and talk to people. Hi, Bob. How are you? Nice to talk to you. Hey, Ivan. How are you doing? I mean, you got to communicate. Email is great. Texting is great. Respond. I also have another thing about customer service. You got to respond within 12 hours, right? One day is the max you can go without responding to someone. The faster you respond, the better. And keep in mind, Ivan, I also have this whole theory on this, is people would rather an answer of, hey, Ivan, I just don't know when I'm going to have the answer. Hey, Ivan, we're looking into it. Ivan, give me another day. Oh, absolutely. What people don't like is non-responsiveness. Non-response is horrible. Yep. It's a, it's a game ender. Game changer. And then also, what people don't like is if you say, I'm going to get back to you tomorrow on it, and you don't get back to them tomorrow. Never have your clients chasing you. Always yeah, stay ahead of the yes. pup where they're going to be. Absolutely, Ben. Bottom line is, yeah. And I'm just saying, once you make the sale, that's great. I mean, it is really hard to make a sale in today's business. But follow up and keep, keep calling the, the client. Ask them what else they need. And you know what? There are a lot of salespeople out there that I can think of right now that, that not only make the sale, but they, they look at their webcast or they look at what their event and say, what can we do to make it better? That's right. What can we do to make this different and better? I love that. And those are the clients who stick with us. I have two final tips as we almost end the year. Our, first, our next ninja is going to be a prediction ninja. But this ninja, two things. There's a couple weeks left um, before the year is over. Call your clients. Pick up the phone. Call them. Send them emails. Thank them. Thank them for their loyalty. Thank them for their business. 
talk to them about the future, but stay in contact. Show them that you care. Send them a card. A handwritten card is the greatest thing in the world, not just an email. Someone says, hey, I really appreciate your business. We like it. You know, we want to continue working with you. Or here's something new. Keep in touch with them. Always be servicing your clients. Always be thinking out of the box. And my second tip is, again, it goes back to bottom line. Things aren't always going to go right. You're going to have mistakes. That's true. What I've learned is some of the best clients that I've had in my entire career is when we've had a sort of disaster. Because what happens when you have a disaster? They look at you. Are you going to man up or are you going to stand up? Are you going to look them in the eyes and say, hey, we made a mistake, but we're going to fix it. And this is how we're going to fix it. That's all anyone wants. They want to know that there's someone on the other side that will fall on their sword for them that will make things right. So I have my only advice to you and to everyone out there is just be loyal to your clients. Talk to your clients. Be as honest as you can with your clients and follow through. Follow through, Ben. I love it. That's my only tip. Words of wisdom. It's not even wisdom. It's it just is. common sense, man. It's wisdom and it's, uh, it's worse to grow with. It is worse growth. So keep your clients. Remember, without clients, none of us have a job. No one in technology, no one in development, no one in marketing, no one in promotion, no one in accounting. No one has a job if we have no clients and we have no business. So go out there and sell and give them the best technology and support you can in the entire world. And from Ben and Ivan, thank you. Thanks, guys. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh,